I mean, what else can you tell us here? Hi there. So, you know, I mean, so it's been a stunning downfall for, prime, uh, for former Prime Minister Najib Razak, who was Premier just, you know, just two months ago. Uh, so he's being charged in court this morning in relation with uh, the scandal around 1MDB and the funds uh, siphoned from, from this particular state investment uh, agency that he created not uh, less than a decade ago. Uh, you know, billions have been siphoned off, uh, you know, money spent all around the world on luxury goods, including yachts, movies, uh, you know, so now, now you know, he's facing, uh, he's facing the charge just related to that. Shimin, we're just getting some details about what he's been charged with criminal breach of trust and, and breach, I assume, of the penal code as well. What does that translate to? What are we looking at here? So we could be looking at, you know, uh, years in uh, years in prison as well as massive fines, uh, you know, based on the amount that could have been siphoned off from the fund as well. Uh, you know, again, I mean, these are these are we're still uh, waiting to hear more, but you know, these are related to funds that uh, that were that were used, um, you know, for different purposes for political uh, for political purposes in Malaysia as well as those overseas. Uh, uh, Najib had uh, had been said that you know he uh, had said that uh, he had received some of the funds, uh, but he didn't know what uh, where where they came from and. And he has said that you know it didn't come from it didn't come from one MDB, but uh, but uh, prosecutors clearly think otherwise. Now, Shamim, what's next here? Um, ha has Najib actually entered his plea? Uh, we're waiting to hear. We're waiting to hear on that. Uh, at the moment, uh, the attorney general is reading out uh, the charges that he will be uh, that he will be facing. Uh, Najib has protested, you know, and said that uh, he is innocent, that he uh, that is, he's not guilty of all that he has been accused of uh, of doing. So we'll hear more from him and his lawyers in the days ahead.